your mind, you just let me know. So it's actually not even attached. It kind of looks like it is, but it's um, just kind of coming right underneath the cuticle. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Friels here. I have another cutaneous horn case for you. This one's a little different. This one is coming off the, almost the toenail and around the cuticle area. Um, she actually ran a half marathon last week. Um, so she's not having a lot of pain with it. However, cutaneous horns can be cancerous. So we definitely want to kind of send this off, make sure everything's okay. Um, so we will go ahead and get you numbed up. And you mentioned that you do not have any allergies. Don't worry, you don't have to watch. I got you covered. Here we go. So really important if you see anything kind of, it almost looks like a little mushroom, if you ask me. You okay? Good. Doing great. This is the hard part after this, smooth sailing. You don't have any plans the rest of the day, do you? Nope. Good. Get a little bit here, we're almost done. Okay, perfect. All done. So let's get you set up and then I'll be back in just a couple minutes, okay? All right, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna kind of test. I'm sure you won't feel anything, but. A little. Feel a little uh, pressure or? A little pressure, no pain. No pain, okay, so let's check here. Same thing. Pressure, is pressure okay or do you want to put a little more numbing in? I think I'm okay. Okay, if you change your mind, you just let me know. So it's actually not even attached. It kind of looks like it is, but it's um, just kind of coming right underneath the cuticle. And for you as an avid runner, I would imagine that's the reason that you are you got this. You okay? Do you feel some? Can we put some more in? A little, like a one. I know you said that you're like, I'm a big weenie, <laughs> so I'll do whatever you want. Um, yes. Okay, I'm let's do it. Going. Yeah, because we haven't even really got anywhere, so we'll just put a little more juice in. No biggie. But I know the thought of it sometime can... Let me know if you feel anything. That's it. I'm putting a little more in because this is quite a bit for a toe. Good? I feel that, yes. You did feel a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Let's put a little more under here. Get that little guy right there. Can I have some up? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. Perfect. Um, so. And then we have our jar ready. Mm -hmm. Feel a little different now? Yes. Yeah. It feels more like it. My whole, you know, when you're, I've only been numbed for. After you've had it. Stuff, yeah. It feels like that. So we are going to go right underneath. And I'm going to try to get as close underneath the cuticle as possible. And you wouldn't believe how firm this thing is. So it makes sense that it is keratin. Doing great. You're gonna kind of take it easy today and just yeah, relax. Yeah, for the next few days. Okay, so perfect. I'm able to work from home. Oh, good. It is wild how it really does look just like a horn. This thing is hard. I'm almost there. There you go. I can't watch a flu shot being doing something. A flu shot? No. <laughs> okay. There we go. There it is. And let me tell you, this looks like a little rock. Okay. So we're going to get that sent to the lab. Okay. Um, again, typically just a buildup of keratin, um, which is just what we call under the epidermis. Um, so it kind of comes out like this horn. That's why it kind of comes to a point. And I think from the toe rubbing your shoes while you're running, it's like, ch -ch 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 -ch, and it just kind of keeps building and building. Right. So what we're going to do now is put some um, silver nitrate. Perfect. Because what we want to do is we want to cut off the blood supply to this guy. We don't want him to kind of start growing back. But these can, I mean, it's not common. I'll take another silver nitrate, please. Um, 
it's not common, but they can be uh, a precursor to um, different types of cancer. But okay. that's why, you know, anytime you hear something like slowly growing, right. we don't want anything growing. Right, right, absolutely. But, um, and typically, so we'll send it out today. Okay. And then, yeah, let's get it wrapped up. My, my dad had um, cancer and um, prostate cancer at different points in his life. Oh, yeah? There's always that, you know, just Always that say, risk, yeah. yeah. All right. So, thank you again for watching another episode. We'll definitely do a follow-up and let you know what uh, comes back. Uh, typically, the lab will call us if it's something that we don't want to hear. Um, so, no news is good news. Okay. But otherwise, we'll definitely plan on having you come back in a few weeks. Okay. We'll go over the results, and we'll go from there. Okay, wonderful. Thank All right. You. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, follow the channel, set the notifications. I'll see you next time.